we are back motocross season is starting so getting back into the videos so I want to talk about one important exercise for motocross that is underrated or mainly people don't know much about it or they don't train is the hip flexors the hip flexors is this muscle right here right in your hip in your groin basically this muscle right here it helps so much for motocross if you do all the sports it helps a lot too but specifically for motocross it helps a ton when it comes to um, when you race your foot when you come into a turner and you want to race your foot we do a lot of this coming every turn we race our leg when we come um, when that muscle is strong enough you'll be able to lift your leg higher in every turn which uh, is always safer because the worst thing you can do is getting your feet caught in a rut or in in a rock or something hitting the ground and that is going to pull your leg very um, it's going to pull your leg very violently and it's going to cause a lot of injuries basically so I want to share this exercise with you because I remember vividly by uh, the end of last season I was going about third gear into a turn and um, one of my my left leg got caught in a rut and he just yanked my leg back but I felt that my uh, hip flexor was pretty strong and when he yanked it it didn't like whipped it out it just my leg was able to take the impact and I had zero issues and I was like wow like this is why working out the hip flexors is so important and that's the moment that I knew that like the exercises that I was doing definitely worked so I'm going to show you a couple of exercises that I've been doing with the hip flexor and there's different ways to do it I'll show you the ones that I do I think they're extremely extremely important for motocross you want to have that leg always raised as high as you can and remember the boot they, they weigh a decent amount the knee braces if you wear some they weigh a decent amount so you have that added weight that if you get your hip flexors strong you'll be able to move that boot up and down way easier get less tired just create less fatigue overall and it will make you a better rider so this is a tip you should definitely get on all right, the first one is with this elastic band. This is the cheapest way of uh, exercising the hip flexors. You're just going to grab, it has to be a, a pretty strong one to create enough resistance to make the workout good, you know? So this is a black one, it's called the pretty uh, high strength. Put it in between your feet. All you're going to do is raise it. So this is the way that I was doing it for the most part until I found a uh, way better equipment to do it. But these are just ankle weights. These are 10 pounds. And I just get, put it into your, uh, into your ankle. And same principle, what you're gonna do is just lift. And lastly, this is my newest addition into my home gym equipment. This is called the monkey feet. You're basically going to strap. And right here at the bottom, you, you can attach a weight. And the reason why I love this thing so much is because you can attach heavier weight. When I was using the ankle weights, those are 10 pounds. So I was stacking two of them. And it was very uncomfortable, time consuming to put them on and uh in order to get 20 pounds of weight because you definitely want to get your heat flexors strong you don't want to do like high reps which you want to do too but ideally you want to get them strong so the weight of the boot is like nothing so this this thing is pretty slick this is how it works you just 
clamps into it. You step. Crank it. And I like to do it on the edge of the stairs because that way I have more range in the downwards movement and I'm able to get a better workout because the weight is at the bottom of my feet instead of doing it flat. So it's better to do it on the edge of the step so you have an extra range of motion. And just the same way, go on the edge, you're gonna go up. So like I said, I put it right on the edge, just go up. And what I also do is, I do a mix of doing it straight, doing it to the right, and doing it to the left. That way you work out your hip flexor, all areas right here, instead of just being linear movement and just having one motion. So again, I go left, I go middle, then I go right. And this is 20 pounds. You'll definitely feel a burn after like 15 reps. And this will be a good way to stay in, get it strong. And then you can keep going up in reps as you keep getting stronger. And you will benefit so much in motocross from this. You will prevent injuries. You will get better, less tired, keep your leg higher in the turns. I definitely recommend getting one of these. It's, it's, this was a good investment. Instead of using that weight or the band, the band will not get you that strong as using weights. So, yeah, boy, let's go.